Today on Pro's Park Bass, I'm gonna be doing Universal Studios full walkthrough tour. Everything you need to know before you come here to Universal Studios Hollywood. Let's walk down the red carpet. What? When you first get to Universal Studios Hollywood, what do you have to do? You gotta walk down the red carpet because you are a star here at Universal Studios Hollywood. Oh yeah, so fun. Well, I just walked in the gates, guys, and you got the Universal Studios Hollywood. You got the director, you got the audio, you got the cameraman up top. This is the iconic statue right as you walk into Universal Studios. And then we're gonna walk down here. This is where the whole theme park is. Everything you need to know, right down here. Before we get started, I do want to talk about this Universal Express because this is a little bit different than what Disney has. It's Universal Express. Universal Express is a one-time cost and what it does is it allows you to go to the front of the ride of most attractions and you also can even get preferred seating at their shows. You don't have to have the app. So if you have the Universal Express like this, the ticket here, you just scan that ticket as you go into each attraction, you just skip bypass the lines. It's super convenient. So for example, when we were down at Universal Studios Orlando, we had this Express Pass. My mom was super confident with it. She was like tapping things in, going everywhere she wanted. When we were at Disney, she was a little more nervous because she didn't know like the Disney Genie app and didn't feel as comfortable with that. So like reservation making those times a little bit more difficult. This is super easy, the Express Pass. Now, I'll let you know that Universal Studios, they, they only have a limited amount of these Express Passes per day. So once they sell out, they sell out. If it's something you're thinking about getting, make sure you tack it on when you buy your ticket, right as you buy it, because you don't want to get here and then not have that Express Pass. It is awesome. And the prices of it varies depending on this, how busy the season. So summertime is going to be more expensive, during the winter is going to be less expensive. But it's a really cool thing to let you just skip right ahead of the lines. What? So we're now walking in over here. You've got like your gift shops here at Universal Studios, Hollywood. They've got all kinds. This is going to be eventually, look at this. I'm going to have to go in and show you because they're going to be having Super Nintendo World here. That's not open yet. They'll be opening up next year. But look, they already have the merchandise out for it. So let's just take a quick little sneak peek at the merchandise because, oh my gosh, you guys, Miles would go crazy for this. He it, he loves Mario and it's perfectly, it's perfectly themed for him. Oh my gosh. And then he sucked up the green tube. Bum, 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 bum. Oh my, this is so fun. We got Bowser, Bowser Jr., Peach, uh, everybody's here. I'm just gonna show you some of these things. Check it out, I got like the player one, the player two. Look at these backpacks over here. The stars, Yoshi, the, the blocks, the plushies, everything, there's everything here. I love, look at the little tumblers. It's interesting to me though, my son Miles has identified more with Luigi. He likes Luigi more than Mario. He likes Mario, but Luigi is who he really enjoys. And this here is like, he has a pair of pajamas that are almost identical to that, but this is just a sweatshirt, but this is so cute, I can't even handle it. What do you like better, Mario or Luigi? Put it down in the comments down below, I'm curious. Where are the Mario fans and Luigi fans? Who do you guys like better? I think, I think Mario's more popular, but, or do you like Luigi better? Curious. All right, so let's go out of the store here and uh, we keep going down the street and showing you to get down to the theme park. As you come down here, the Universal Store is still on that side. They have lots of fun props and things from movies. Moving down here, they got great food. I mean, I want to I want to come back here and eat and get some, maybe a Poke Bowl, pork ramen. Oh, here's an Illumination Store, of course. It's so fluffy. I'm going to die. Here we have the upper lot and the lower lot. This is what you have to understand. The upper lot, these are all the things here in the upper lot. And then down here, you have the lower lot. And these are really the big attractions, like the big attractions. I was talking to a Universal Studios representative and they were telling me what their tips were. Jurassic World, they said the mummy is what you've got to do and the studio tour. They said those are the top three things you absolutely have to do when you come here. So I'm gonna show you everything I can today. Let's continue on. They have an area what's like the Krusty Lands for the Simpsons and they have like these lard lad donuts. They're huge. They are so good. Another fun thing to do here at Universal Studios is just look around and see all the cool things because it's, it's like the scenery, the settings, all for movies. This is to give you the Hollywood experience. See right there, you got the, so it looks like a sound stage and moving here, we are now in New York City. A little taxi cab. And then down here we got other streets. I mean, we're gonna cover every inch of this park today. But I love, I love how they have this set up here for New York. Nice, looks so awesome. Look at all that cool stuff you see there. And there's the Kung Fu Panda Adventure. Moving right ahead there, the DreamWorks. Universal Studios has such an interesting history. So it is first and foremost a movie production studio. This, they film movies here. I mean, they, they're filming movies here. TV shows are being filmed here. This is designed to be a production studio. 
they added the a theme park in a little bit later, but they've always had an element of having guests here. In like the 1920s here at Universe Studios, they would have guests when they didn't have sound in the movies. They would put up like bandstand bleachers and the guests would watch the people film, they'd cheer and they'd yell at them because there's no sound. It's perfectly fine to do that and they love that. Of course, when sound started and they couldn't do that anymore because they would interrupt the picture, but they've always had the element of letting you come here, be a guest and be part of the movie magic. And they're still doing it. Ah, I love it. Over here, they have the special effects effects show right over here and then here we are guys we are now entering into crusty land right there you see it this is the simpsons area here is a lard lad donut should we just do it we're first thing in the morning let's do it i think you you and i deserve it the two of us let's get one together let's enjoy it let's take a look and see what they got though these are huge oh my gosh i did it i got us the pink lard lad donut we're gonna sit over here and get some uh, utensils and we're gonna eat this together Let's find a nice little spot where we can relax and eat our donut. I think this looks like a good little area. You and I, let's have a donut together. Ah! Uh, this, these donuts are huge. It'll, it'll feed like a large family, it's just the two of us. So uh, I don't think I'll be able to eat this whole thing, but we're gonna try our best to devour as much of it as we can. Oh my gosh. It's like a pizza, but a donut form. I can't eat that big of a bite. I can't eat that big of a bite. We gotta keep cutting it down. This is still a big bite. Oh. Awesome. A question that gets asked a lot is, what's your favorite dessert? Ultimately, the, really the best answer, I think, is a warm cookies. But people don't put ever think of warm cookies as dessert. They're thinking pie, they think a cake, a croissant, or something like that. But let's just be honest with ourselves, and let's not kid around. Donuts should be up there. Donuts make people happy. There's a lot of frosting on these. Uh, so much frosting. What's your favorite dessert? Let's be honest, the uh, warm cookies, nothing would make you happier than coming home and smelling warm cookies or uh, having like a warm cookie at nighttime, nice little cold glass of milk and some warm cookies. Oh, I love that. This is delicious. I could eat the whole donut, I'm be honest with you, but I'm saving it for a little bit later. I have to show you one little teeny tiny mistake and only the truest of true Simpson fans would know this. Behind me, is a radioactive man from The Simpsons. It's a comic book character. In the comics, you know, Bart reads Radioactive Man. Well, in The Simpsons, on the TV show, when Bart's reading the comic book, if you look at the comic book carefully, Radioactive Man actually has four fingers. The only character in all The Simpsons that has four fingers. But here on the wall, he, he only has the three fingers. Isn't that interesting, though? Like, it's the only character. They gave him four fingers. Why do animated characters only usually have three fingers? Because it looks usually weird when they draw them, so they always just give them three, which... I don't know, it looks better, I suppose. Weird. Continuing on, we got the, we're leaving right over here is the Lard Lad Donut. And we got the Krusty Burger, it opens at 10.30. And then over here, we've got the Duff Beer Garden with the seven emotions of Duff. They also have this in Florida. They've got Edgy Duff. They've got uh, Remorseful Duff. They've got Dizzy Duff. They got Tipsy Duff. <laughs> Surly Duff. Queasy Duff, and of course, Sleazy Duff. Seven emotions of drinking Duff beer. And there's that little taco truck. Right there is Cookie Mart. And then you got the Krusty Lane ride. This used to be the Back to the Future ride. And this takes you down to the lower lot where you have the mummy, you've got Jurassic World, and the Transformers. But really what you want to look is right over here. This is very, very important. Right here is the studio tour. If you could only do one thing, it would be this, the studio tour. And if you look in the background right up there, you can see, what do you see? Hogwarts, right there. But yeah, this is the studio tour. It is awesome. And they have different languages, so it's, it's mostly done in English, but they also have it in Spanish, and they have different times letting you know like what time they're doing those tours. This is what you want to be doing. And if you have an express pass, you see this little line right here? All you have to do is just walk right on in and do the express pass. I have the express pass. There's not really a line right now, but let's just do it anyways. I'm gonna take you on the studio tour. This is an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous view here at Universal Studios. Now keep in mind, this was built as a movie studio. And so it's got some weird geography for a theme park. Like if you look right down there, what do you see? You see the backs of buildings. It is just phenomenal. Walking right down here to the studio tour, guys. And they also have restrooms and they have drinks down here. So if you're waiting a long line, you have all the amenities that you need for the studio tour. 
we're going through here. I think I'm gonna try to make it. I think we're gonna make it. Oh, just one. We're gonna make it. Did All right, guys, we are now on the gentlemen. studio tour, and we're just really taking off. Oh, hey there, you made it. Welcome to the Universal Studio Tour. One of my favorites, Blues Brothers, right there. And there's oh, ET. The and as we turn, ooh, you're gonna look at, look to your next guys. There's some trailers of the stars. That's how they look like. That's where they do their hair, their makeup, their wardrobe. Throughout the years, 21 has been used to film blockbusters like Apollo 13, Jurassic Park, Fast and Furious. They are TV stages. They've been around for a long time from classics like The Monsters to game shows like Hollywood Game Night. We build here everything the camera needs to see and we shoot all the exterior scenes at a larger scale. See all the brownstones? Yeah. And we're about to take you inside an area you might recognize here at Courthouse Square from an iconic movie called Back to the Future with Michael J. Fox and Christopher Lloyd. That's the With store where he bought the book, and you that's so just their alleyway where they ran for Back to Future 2. This is the New York portion of the lot. This is the entrance to King Kong attraction. Hollywood illusion. Oh no, flash flood. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Bates Motel. And look, you see the house above the hill. Oh, there's uh, there's Norman Bates. I love it. Oh, okay, he's still vacating the guest. Yes. Um, it's past 11 a.m. Probably got a lot of dead weight. She had to be out. Okay. Norman, put it away. This is a family-friendly tour, Norman Bates, and that's rude. You can get it closer to this tram, and I'm gonna tell your mother. I right love War of the Worlds, so I love big that blue scene. Backdrop, that blue backdrop represents different horizons. They're having a big party at the Fast and Furious has cleared everybody out. You're under arrest right now. Escort this now, this out. Witness, speak now or you all get fried. This is our turn. And that is the studio tour. So if you sit on the left side, you're gonna get the, like the earthquake scene a little better and the flood. But on the right side, you're gonna be right where Jaws is, and I think the Jaws is really the best one. And you also get closer to Norman Bates. What? So I just got done the tram tour. I'm gonna take you into Krusty Land. So this is here, I love this guy. Stu's Disco, closed until Disco comes back. Management. Hopefully the Disco does come back. But this is all based off of the Simpsons IP. It is really cool. There's a lot of fun things here. You gotta be looking around. I mean, like you look up there, you can see you got Snake up there. He's like breaking out. You got Dr. Nix. If you can put it in, we can take it out. Then you got over here, you got the Quickie Mart. These are complete replicas. You, you can go in these Quickie Marts and it looks just like Apu's store. I'll show you. It's, a, it's fun. Here it is. Ah, Quickie Mart. <laughs> I love this stuff. I love it. You know, all your little Simpsons merchandise. It's just fun. Filled with artificial goodness. Uh, just fun stuff. I mean, these are cool. I have to show you one thing I really like. This one uh, mug I think is really cool. Let's check it out. Look at this mug. Mmm, it's hollow. Like, Homer's eating a donut. And then if you look at the back, it's like, mmm, cards. <laughs> 
All right, and off the right, we've got the Simpsons ride. We'll come back to that. We'll come back to that in just a moment, but I wanna show you all this. Over here, you've got like the Cletus Chicken Shack. You got Moe's Tavern down here, and then you got like Krusty Burger and Springville Nuclear Power Plant. But what a lot of people don't realize is they are all connected inside. So let's walk into Cletus Shack. You love it how it's got little chicken droppings across that. So this is where you go in and get like waffles and chicken. I love this so much. I think it's awesome. Oh, there's Cletus. And the, it's a yokel. So I'm just talking to some of these. They're giving me the inside scoop, guys. Here we are in the Cletus Chicken Shack. You can see that this is some of the menu. Now, this here is the most popular one for adults. This one's the most popular when like ordering like with family, but they said this is the one you should order. This one here is the waffle and chicken sandwich. They say you can get the you can get the lettuce and tomato removed, but it has this maple mayo sauce and they say it is so good, it's sweet and savory. That's the one to get, guys. That's the one to get. I do have to show this up here though. Look up here. Because we're in Springville by the nuclear power plant, what do you have? A two-headed chicken. What? And like I said, all the stores are connected. So <laughs> Cletus, I love Cletus. Now we're gonna walk into Moe's Tavern. And I love this table they have right here. Check out this table, it's a pool table. We are in Moe's Tavern. Just like, you know, they got the Duff, they got the Duff sign. Look at all the, the, the bar stools and the, the places. Just like if you were in uh, the Simpsons cartoon, you got the Moe's Bar right there, Moe's Tavern. Of course, they got the Springfield Isotopes. <laughs> There's a dartboard. And by the way, here's a little trivia. Did you know that New Mexico, they actually, they have a AAA baseball team and they named them the New Mexico Isotopes after the Simpsons. It's awesome, I love that fact. And just like in the cartoon, they have like the love tester. You can go ahead and squeeze to see what you get. And there's Barney, he's awesome, love it. And then right next door, you're gonna have the Krusty Burger. This is where they have all the hamburgers and it's just, you know, food, 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 more food. It's like, it's always set up as if you were at Krusty Burger. Uh -huh. Now you can see I just walked out of the Krusty Burger. I walked all the way through all those stores. They're all connected, all food. It's awesome. You really are just like, bam, right in the center of Simpson stuff. There's Chief Wiggum with his donut and coffee. And it looks like he crashed his car. <laughs> the Lars Lads. And then right behind me, you've got like the pizza place. I mean, there's, there's the Duff Beer Garden. And now I'm gonna walk over to the Simpsons ride. I'm gonna show you how awesome the Express Pass is. Let's do this. I just also have to show this. If you look up to the right-hand side, if you look up, I mean, you have to look up. Springfield, they got it up there, the signage. You got the power plant right there. It looks great, just Springfield. And then over here, you got Krusty Land, where they have the Simpsons ride. Surrounding the Simpsons ride, you have all these like games you play, like carnival games. My one friend Jar, this is his favorite thing to do. He comes in here and plays all these games, just absolutely loves it. And right here, this is where you enter in to go to The Simpsons ride. It says it's a 40 minute wait, but this is the express pass over here. So let's check it out and see how it works. Oh, I forgot, I gotta show you, check it out. The power plant is going off, there's an emergency. Something's happening in the power plant. Do you hear it? Oh, guys. Isn't that fun? The power plant was, we had an emergency, we heard the lights going eh, eh, eh. And you could, I actually felt a little rumbling on my feet. Now we're all back to normal. All right, let's go to the express lane. How easy is it to use express lane? Just gotta show a ticket. It's no app, nothing like that. You don't have to make a reservation. You just walk up and you do it. And that's how easy it is to use the express pass. I mean, you just, boop, boop, boop. Easy. If you look down there, there's a bunch of people waiting in line. We're skipping the whole line. Who doesn't want to skip lines? But yeah, so we're going upstairs, I'm getting right on the attraction. It's been about five minutes. Okay, we're inside the line now. There's the crusty the land. And then they have these like, little like uh, screens over here and, and they kind of talk to you everyone. So this is Mole Man with information. And if you look over there, you got Apu over there selling stuff. Who won the 1942 World Series? The St. Louis Cardinals. Why is the sky blue? The molecules in the air scatter blue light from the sun. Why are you so lame? I was a very sickly boy and I never developed social skills. Now, I won't be able to film the attraction, but we're gonna show you what it looks like to board. All right, we're going in and you board this car, it's four in front and four in back. I can't film the ride, so we'll get you on, we're done. We just rode the Simpsons ride and now I'm gonna take you over to uh, Hogwarts. Let's go over there, Let's check it out, come on. We're exiting out of Springfield. Gonna move right over here and then off the left-hand side, that is where we go for Hogsmeade. Entrance looks very similar to the one in Orlando. I will say this one though, this one's a little bit smaller than the one in Orlando and they also do not have Diagon Alley here, 
but it's still very special and you can't get your butter beer here. Ah, butter beer. Here it is, the Hogsworth Express. We are in Hogsmeade. We got Zonko's joke, uh, joke shop, Honey Dukes. We get some candy right over there, Honey Dukes. The butter beer. But in Orlando, they have right here is where they have, would have the Hagrid's motorcycle experience. They don't have that here. So right over here, they have the music shop. There's Dervish and Bengals. I feel like we're in like a little back alleyway checking everything out. And I'm gonna be honest with you, when it comes to, as far as it comes to Harry Potter merchandise, I love it, all of it. It's so fun. Right there, that's Ollivander's. That's where you get a wand. You get your wand right there, interactive wand. Let's go look at some of the merchandise. That's, I think, what uh, Hermione wore to the Yule Ball. You can get that. It's the parcel package. Oh, you get your owls and quills and just some really cool. Oh, there's the backpacks. The thing is, I feel like a loyalty. Like when you find when you finally get sorted, you get a loyalty. He got this for Miles, and he outgrew it. Maybe we have to get that for him. I might have to get that for him because I think that's this is maybe his size. The thing is that we're entering into the summer months. So I don't know if we really want. He's growing like a weed. So I don't know how he's gonna be, but he loves being a Hufflepuff. I wish I was a Hufflepuff. So much stuff. Oh, look how cool these are. Be honest with you, if I had to rank them in order. It'd be Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, Slytherin, and Gryffindor. That's just the way I'd rank those sweaters. So we're exiting back out, right over here. You guys, I feel like you've been really good, and I feel like I've been good. Should we maybe get a butter beer? I think we deserve it. You deserve it. Let's get one. I got my frozen butter beer. Mmm, it's so good. Now there are three different types of butter beer you can get. You can get hot, frozen, or just cold. My opinion, hot is the very, very, very best, but they, that's seasonal here in Hollywood. In Orlando, they have it all year round, but here in Hollywood, it's seasonal, so you either get frozen or cold. If that's the case, get frozen. Mm. But if you want to get that Instagram picture where you get like that mustache, then you might want to get a cold one because they have a lot more froth on the top of it, if that's important to you. Oh, by the way, I haven't, I don't know if I've told you this yet so far. Thank you for joining in today. I'm glad that you're spending some time with me here at Universal Studios Hollywood. I'm having a good time. I hope you are too. Okay, let's continue on with Hogsmeade. The shops on the left-hand side, I'm gonna review those when I come out. But this is right here, the posts we were in there. I'm gonna go right up ahead where you see the Hogswart Castle. I love how there's always a little bit of snow on the roofs to kind of let you guys have a little bit of snow there. And guys, there it is. Look how cool it is. That is perfect, 100% perfect force perspective to make that look even way bigger than it is. And it is really big. There's a right inside too. So let's go check it out. Now off the right, this is where you have the Hippogriff experience. It's a little roller coaster, children. It's called Flight of the Hippogriff. Children can ride this uh, roller coaster. It's fun. And it's, it's just like an every person roller coaster. And then over here, check how cool that looks. I'm trying to show you everything and still drink my butterbeer. I really am having a good time here at Universal Studios. I love it. And I had to show you something really cool. Okay, so this is the entrance here. This goes in here to uh, Hogsmeade. But if you look to the left-hand side, what do you see? There's that Rambler car that Harry and Ron had to get to get to Hogsmeade. Just sit right there. This is called the Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. Let's do it. You're gonna walk right in here and they do have an express pass as well. One of the things you have to do when you come to ride this particular attraction is you have to get a locker uh, to put all your stuff in. So that's the first thing you have to do. So let's get a locker. So we just walked in the express lane. I'm coming in here and look, it's fun. You see like the paintings, they're moving, they're talking. Oh, see that one's right there. They're talking about Harry Potter. So cool. Now look right over here. This is gonna be Dumbledore's office. You know who? And there's Dumbledore talking to us. Well, there's Dumbledore's office. And here's the defense against that dark art class. Then there are Ron, oh, Hermione, that. and Harry. They're talking to us. Whoa! Uh, One of my favorites, the lady in the portrait. I'd ask some of you to come this is the entrance to the Gryffindor common room. Now, right before you go on the attraction, you're going to see the sorting hat right there. I love the shadow work. The lighting on it is amazing. It's wonderful. And we are about to board the ride. And look at the candles all floating. How cool is that? Alright, this is how you get your locker. You just come here. I want to reopen my locker. And hit continue. Verified. And there's my locker. It just opens up. Easy peasy. And of course, we have to end in the gift shop. 
And this gift shop is, is huge. There's a lot of Harry Potter merch here, a lot. I mean, if you're a Harry Potter fan and you collect this merchandise, you could just go forever. Uh, why do I, I'm really attracted to the Hufflepuff stuff. This is just if you're a normal Hogwarts fan, just at the school. Now I'm gonna walk us back down uh, to Hogsmeade and we're looking at the store on the right-hand side and then we'll take you to the Illuminations area, which is, wah. Of course, Hogsmeade is one of the most popular areas because it's Hogsmeade and it's Harry Potter. I mean, everybody loves it. Whenever I come to this, to go to Hogsmeade, I just wanna go back and like, binge all the Harry Potter movies. Now there is an exit, you can walk right out here. That'll just take you to a more time the studio side, but we are gonna walk down and look at all the stores. Let's do that. Right over here, you've got your wizarding equipment. These are all different stores. And see right down there, those are the plates. If you stand that plate right there and you do your, that pattern, that zigzag pattern with your wand, then so, things happen in the window. So it's fun. This is Ollivander's. It's where you get your magical wand. You have to wait in line to get your wand. And then over here, they've got, this is teas and cakes. And they got the public conveniences. I love that, that's just the bathroom. And then down here is a really cool restaurant called the Three Broomsticks. It is awesome. And I have to show you something really, what makes it so cool. So the Three Broomsticks, what do you see outside? Three Broomsticks, obviously. Fun restaurant, good restaurant actually. The food's fantastic here. You can walk inside, you go in there and you order your food on the left hand side. On the right hand side, those where you sit, there's all the sitting and dining area, you, look, you can look up and see cool things. But what I love about it is if you go to the right, this is like a little tavern, the Boar's Head Tavern. That Boar's Head will move when people order certain drinks. You come in here, you know, oh, it's moving right now. There it is, it's moving, yay! I love it. So you can come in here and you can order drinks. You don't have to get food. You come straight here and order your drinks. And here's like a secret. You can get butter beer right here. So you know how we had to wait in line to get butter beer? You come right here, boom, pow, get your butter here. Watch the Boar's Head move. Little tip. All right, now we're gonna walk back outside, go past the Three Broomsticks restaurant, and I'm gonna take you to Honey Dukes, which is a candy sweet shop. This is Honey Dukes. If you have little ones, they're gonna just be enamored with this store. It's just like how all the all the kids want it to be like decorated. Look at it. I mean, just it's bright, it's happy, it's candy. It is awesome. They have right behind me that Bernie Bot's Every Flavor Bean. Only do it if you're really brave. They have like earwax, vomit, grass, fish, spoiled milk. You don't know what you're gonna get because it could be spoiled milk, it could be white, or it could be coconut. Or and so you never know which flavor you're gonna be getting if you want to do the Bernie Bot's every flavor bean. I don't know. Fizzing Wisbees, I've had these. It's chocolate and they have like pop rocks inside it. Fudge flies. Look at that quill suckers. Jelly slugs. All right, I'm gonna tell you this right here, guys. This butterbeer fudge, I've had it. It is amazing. It is some of the best fudge I've ever had. So if you want to treat yourself, get the butter beer fudge. How fun is that? Look at that cauldron cake. All right, we are now going to be going outside of Hogsmeade back into just the normal level area of Universal Studios Hollywood. And I'm going to take you over here to this really cool area. We're going to exit out of here, but I'm going to walk down here to show you this illuminations area. Something also, this cocina, Mexicana, they have specialty drinks. They're only here for one month and then they're gone. You got this pineapple juice, mango puree, mini lemonade, uh, the straw, the horchata. I mean, they're, they're gone. They have them here for one month and then the next month they're gonna have some new ones. So, I mean, they just be aware that they're these seasonal concoctions. They, go, they come and go like, like that. All right, continuing on. A really cool thing about Universal Studios is when you're here, if you're having a good time, you have your day ticket, you can take your day ticket to any box office. They have one upper lot and one in the lower lot, and you can extend it and turn it into a season pass. And they'll apply the purchase cost to that so that way you have a season pass and come back here if you are thinking about coming back, because there's a lot to do. And this is also where if you have a normal ticket, you can upgrade it to your express pass. The only thing that I w I'm gonna give you advice about that is they sell out. So if you're coming here, you know you're coming here, when you buy your ticket, already to get that express pass if you're gonna get it, because it'll sell out. You might get here the day of and you're like, oh, I wanna get it, and it's gone. Universal Studios makes sure that you get the value of the Express Pass, so they only sell limited now a number of that. So be aware of that. Okay, this is a great area. So this is like the Illuminations area, and you're gonna walk down here, and there's, this is where kids just love this area. It's fun, it's interactive. Oh, look, there he is, hi! Solving mysteries! Look at your purple top! Oh, you like that? Thank you so much! Daffy oh my gosh, Daffy would man. like that. Scooby, you're the best! It's so good! 
good to see you. Right. So good to see you guys. Look, there's the mystery machine. I gotta see Scooby. Oh my gosh, they're telling me how much Daphne, they said Daphne would love my tie. Cause it's got a little purple. Daphne, she normally wears purple. <laughs> All right, let's continue on with this tour. You're gonna see, this is where you go down to do like the pet ride, the minion stuff. You got a bunch of stores over here on the left-hand side and let's be happy preschool. This is all pretty much basically off of the Illuminations properties. You see all these really cool things. And I'm gonna show you a secret that most people do not know, right? By the way, it's called the MacGuff Cinema. Now, let me tell you what that means. Alfred Hitchcock, when he's making movies, he came up with a term called the MacGuffin. What is the MacGuffin? The MacGuffin is the plot device that moves the story forward. It's just like whatever's happening to, so that we can tell a story. He called that the MacGuffin. So what do they have up there? They have the MacGuff. It's a play on the MacGuffin, which Alfred Hitchcock came up with. Just, you know, moves the plot forward. The MacGuffin, plot device. This area used to be where they had the T2 Terminator experience. And right there where the Despicable Me Minion Mayhem is, that's where it used to be the Terminator. So what do they do? They have a little throwback. If you look right over here, it says Village Bikes. Look down here in this corner, what do you see? Protected by Cyberdyne. Now Cyberdyne established 1984. That's when the first Terminator movie came out. Cyberdyne is what the Terminators came from. So I love that. They have a little throwback right there to remind you, hey, this is a Cyberdyne area, T2. Then you have Despicable Me right here, and then you have the Secret Lights of Pets. Most people don't realize this. You see these houses down here? You can go down on these houses and touch these doorbells, and they will ring and do different things. Let's go ring this doorbell and see what happens. Go away, I'm not home. <laughs> Let's go down to the next door, down here. <laughs> Little minion laugh. Now let's go down to the last house down here. <laughs> More minions. I wonder if we get the same one. Let's ring it again. Banana, 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 banana. The Secret Lights of Passes off the leash is a really fun ride. And the queue line is part of the story. Now what they do, they have you come here, regardless if you have the Express Pass or the normal pass or whatever you have, they have a virtual queue. So if the line gets really long, uh, what they'll do is they have you come in, you, you scan your ticket and they'll give you time to come back so you can go into the attraction. Because it's a limited space for people. They don't want everybody just waiting out here. So if you come here and grab your little Express Pass, you can go in because part of waiting queue is part of the experience. I'm actually not going to use the Express Pass because I don't want to skip this queue line. And if you do the Express Pass, you will skip part of this queue line. And look, we got it. We have notice to all residents. We have adoption day, the pet store. Looking right over here. Oh, look. You can see like, there's a fly. And the cat's, the cat's trying to get the fly. Oh, look, you can barely see through that crack. You see that? You see the little, the, the little dog through the crack there. Perfect kid height. We're in the apartment complex. We're going into apartment number five. And look at this. You got all the, look, look out the windows. And what is the dog doing? Like in the, you remember in the, you seen the trailer for the movie, the dog is getting a little back massage by the, what is the, little, the kitchen aid. I was worried that he's gonna get his tail caught in it. Kind of gives me anxiety. Watch his eyes. They open and close when he's relaxing. Oh, they just open. And then when he starts going to sleep, you hear him snoring and his eyes close. I hope he's going back to sleep. Now we're leaving apartment number five and walking out the hallway. And there's a van there. What do you see? Oh, I can see you guys upstairs. You turn the corner and then you go upstairs. This is where you get the second level. All right, so we've gone up the stairs. Now we're entering into apartment number 18. I love this on the wall. It says Moa Museum of Old Art. I love the decorations. Poulain Rouge. I love the brick walls there. And we got the Live Love Bark. Now we're walking into the little boy's room. His name's Liam. You see he's got an L there and it says Liam. There's this has got his name. And then of course, the gerbil, the hamster appears there as well. You got a little hand art. And if you look down here, you see this is where Liam plays with his blocks. And now we're leaving out of Liam's room and it looks like they've got it. It's like a little movie poster, I love it. Troubles, directed by V Danger. Very dangerous. We're gonna walk back into the kitchen. You see the to-do list, Liam's lunch, walk Max and Duke, call Dr. Francis, Piggy Real, and hockey game tonight. 
And look at this, they've got some artwork on the fridge. Now, if you were doing the express pass, if you decide to do that, you skip the whole downstairs, but you'll come up those stairs here and then join the line right here if you do the express pass. I wanted to go downstairs and see everything, so I did not do it. Yeah. Now we're walking in, this is like the dining room area. Look at this, got a little artwork, and then there's the pets. They're playing Jenga, get ready to move those dog bones. Can we play biscuit checkers or tic-tac-bone? Oh, Max, look, more puppies are coming in. You'll notice that when they're talking, they're calling us animals and saying that we're strays because that's the whole story is that we're little puppies going through. All right, so we left number 18 and going in apartment number 19. I see it all decorated and check it out. Oh, look, and they've got a little pet show for us to watch on TV. Artwork for Snowball. And we're in a hallway, just like almost all hallways. they got pictures there, right? Snowball there. And they go through and see kind of Snowball, a little sneak peek of Snowball. We're about to see him. Listen Snowball is telling us how to get adopted. And you see they have a little play area for kids. And here we are at the boarding area. It's a little like wood box. We're gonna get in and move around. Alright, we are now inside moving along. Getting ready to go into the world of pets. This screen here, it moves, it makes you into a pet. See that as a little dog, and it moves your arms just like you do. I love that. So you can see yourself as a little pet. Good luck, puppies. Be careful. You don't need anything weird off the sidewalk. Uh oh. Uh oh. The puppy's got his stick is stuck. Oh, they're doing yoga, and the dog's doing yoga. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. What are you filthy mucks doing? A lot of cats. They're up there. They're all over. Uh -oh. oh, this looks bad. Go to a fireworks store. Uh oh. Truly, it's fireworks. There's a dog on it. That looks dangerous. Ellen Clay. What? Don't look at me like that. We're gonna get some extreme grooming. We gotta get all clean so that way you get adopted. In no time. Oh! They sprayed you, it's just a little spray of water. And now, oh, look at that. Now we're going to see ourselves. There I am, all over there, blowing hair on me. I hope I get adopted. Mom, Dad, look. Adopt me. You want to come home with us? Yes. That's my new family. This is about the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. I can't even handle it, you guys. It's almost too cute to even handle. You look how soft your bed is. Like this is exactly oh the cat stuck in a cupcake. I just get pet homes. That's all I do. There we go. It's too cute. And that's the end of the ride. Oh my gosh, it's too cute. Love it. So you exit out of the ride at the pet store. The pet store, perfect place to exit out because you know we're now pets. We're adopted and got a cute little family. But we gotta go back down this way because I have to keep showing you what Universal Studios Hollywood has to offer. These videos are interesting for me to do because normally I have a tons of facts and everything, but people seem to like the full tour videos and they say, hey Chris, you, you do a pretty good job of that. I don't know about that, but I do enjoy spending time with you here at this wonderful theme park. So thank you so much. If I could give you a thumbs up, I would. And if you could give me a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. All right. So right here in front of us, we have the Minion Mayhem. I'm actually gonna go past it because I wanna show you all this. I wanna keep going through uh, Universal Studios to show you even more stuff. This is the super silly fun land. Do you remember Despicable Me when they take, it's like Agnes and, uh, and they're like, ah, it's so fluffy. This is a brand new cafe. It's called the Minion Cafe. It's brand new, just opened up. And then right here, this is the super silly fun land. This is where kids can go bananas, bananas. And they have, they're gonna get wet. Just be aware of that. So you might want to have a change of clothes. But this is like they have like a whole bunch of different games that they can play, super silly stuff. And then over here, it's just a water-filled area where they just kids can run around and see all that water. It's 
crazy. They do have a little traction over here. It's called the Super Swirly. That the kids can ride on that. It kind of spins around. And then over here is a little play area for the kids to go in and play and, and just be kids. Then as you exit out, this is kind of like France, like a French area. You got the Moulin Rouge. This is where they go. Like if you do a VIP tour, they, they have like a special dining in there. And then you just got this kind of like this little French area. And you can see it's like super romantic and you bring your significant other in here and kind of just relax. Tour de France. Da -da 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 -da. I just had a Universal Studios cast member come up. They're like, Chris, I know that sometimes you forget to hydrate because you're doing all that stuff. You've got to keep hydrating because it's warm. I was like, oh my gosh, thank you for reminding me. So uh, Alvin, thank you so much. I am going to hydrate right now. Oh, I love this area here. All right, right here, this Jardin de Paris. I don't really know how to pronounce it. It's a nice little area over here. And you got this Boston Chanson Couture. But I'm gonna show you something that Universal Studios Hollywood cast member told me to tell you guys. A little treat, a little secret. You see right here where it says French Street Bistro. They say that this is a great place to go. They sell coffee here. So if Starbucks line is too long, if you like coffee, you get it here. And they also have really good treats to get. As they said, always check this one out. So I'm gonna go just check it out and see what they have. They have a lot of good food here. They got crepes, strawberry chocolate crepes, banana Nutella. They got quiches, they got hot sandwiches, ham and brie. Oh, it all sounds good. But I'm gonna, I wanna get that Poke Bowl, I think. But I, don't, I mean, now I kinda want that sandwich. I'm glad we learned about that. And when I walked inside, it smelled Amazing. Now we need to talk a little bit about Universal Studios. Universal Studios, they have what's called the upper lot and the lower lot. Remember, it was not designed originally as a theme park, it was designed as a movie studio. So they have this really amazing area, but it's up high, it's low, it's all kinds of, uh, encompasses lots of different geographic terrain on purpose for movies production. But because of that, they have the upper lot and the lower lot. So we have pretty much done most of the upper lot. I am now gonna take you down to the lower lot and the lower lot, you gotta take these escalators and they, they just goes forever down these escalators. I think it's a quarter of a mile of escalators and it just takes you down. Plus, you get a really, really, really cool view of the, of the whole valley. One thing I've not done up here at the upper lot is the Waterworld stunt show. That is a crowd pleaser. The last show's at four o'clock. I actually just set my alarm on my phone to remind me at 3.22, it's gonna go off. So I get wherever I'm at, I can start heading over because I wanna see that stunt show. But right now, it's about 2.30. I'm gonna take you guys down to the lower lot. We'll take a quick look there. Probably come back up to the stunt show and then maybe go back down to the lower lot. I know some people are like, wow, that's a lot of walking up and down, up and down, but I don't mind. I actually like it. So I think it's kind of fun to do. Let's go check out the view as we go from upper lot to the lower lot. You guys remember at Krusty Land, we were here earlier today, and now this is the lower lot. You've got Jurassic World, the Mummy, and the Transformers ride down here attractions, and this is where you go. They have three sets of elevators, depending on how crowded it is, either uh, two will be coming up and one going down, or two going down, one going up. Right now it's early in the day, so we have two going down. All right, that was the first escalator of a few, but check out these views down there. Look at that far as you can see and it goes this way and I was told on the most clear days if you have very good eyes you can even see the ocean these are the scenic view right here this is number three that is Warner Brothers right down there Warner Brothers right over there and there's Warner Brothers right there and this one has four apparently the other one only had three now look this is it this is it guys that's gonna be Super Nintendo World you can see it they're building it right there it's eventually gonna be opening next year in 2023 I just can't wait to uh, have Miles experience that, my son Miles. He loves it, he's gonna love it so much. I don't know if I told you guys this experience, we actually were invited to go to the debut of Super Nintendo World in Japan, but we couldn't get there because of the pandemic. It was like the most heartbreaking thing, We're like here's an invitation, if you can get here, come, and we couldn't get there, obviously. Nobody could get there at that time. Okay, we just did a second set of escalators, and now we gotta do another set of escalators. We go down here, that's where the transformer right is, right over there. All right, we're just completing the third escalator. Right off the left-hand side, what do we have? Jurassic Park, an amazing attraction. And this is the last set. It's kind of like almost like a little attraction in itself, all these escalators. And there we go, you see the mummy, the revenge, the ride. Now here's a little tip. If you get here first in the morning and you come right down the lower lot, the lower lot is usually empty. Like the Jurassic Park ride will be a five minute wait. Uh, nobody comes down to the lower lot. They're usually going to the trams, they're going to like uh, the Secret Life of Pets. The lower lot is empty. Then in the afternoon, the lower lot gets way more crowded in the afternoon, just so you can be aware of that. So you can kind of do the opposite, come here first and then go up to the upper lot. Yeah. This is the Revenge of the Mummy Ride. It's an amazing roller coaster. 
If you've never been on it, I don't want to ruin it for you. There's a lot of surprises in that for you. And then if you go down to the left, you're gonna see this is the Transformers attraction. It's identical to the one they have in Orlando, Florida. This mummy ride though is not like the one they have in Orlando. It's unique to itself. Oh my gosh, you guys check it out. They have the Transformer they're talking. It's Megatron is talking. You get a photo with Megatron. You want to lose your fingers? No That is so cool. The girl I was saying in front to get her photo of Megatron, she went, ain't hey, peace. And Megatron said, do you want to lose your fingers? No peace. There's a Transformer ride right there. And then on the left-hand side, this is gonna be it, guys. Super Nintendo World. Of course, this is gonna be huge, massive, amazing expansion. Can't wait for it. They also have a bunch of food stores down here. They got the Studio Scoop, which is ice cream. They got the Commissary, they got Panda Express. And then it's just cool merchandise stores as well. I'm like freaking out about that Megatron guy. That was so cool, like, I was shocked. Before the Mummy ride was here, they had E.T., the ride E.T. The only park that now has E.T. is Universal Studios Orlando. In fact, we just did a whole video on the secrets revealed of the E.T. attraction. You can click on that here, 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 somewhere around there, and you'll be able to learn all about the E.T. ride. They no longer have it in Japan either. Universal Studios Orlando is the only place that has it. This is what replaced it. Now, I'm gonna show you the Jurassic Park ride, of course, but before we do that, I'm gonna show you the dino play area, because this is like a little hidden gem for people that have little ones. Right off the left is the Jurassic Park ride, and right here is dino play for kids. It's a nice little area for parents. If you have a little kid that just needs to calm down, relax, you have to have like a do, maybe do a rider swap, you can come right here and let them let them play. It's a cool little fan area. They got like dinosaurs for them to go, go on. They've got uh, fans with sprays there. Kids can just go in there and run around. There's little areas for parents to sit down and just let the kids be. So this here is the Jurassic Park ride. This is one of the main attractions you have to do. It's right here, it's the Jurassic World. They've re-updated it, it is awesome. And you will get a little bit wet, not too wet. They're gonna scale how much water, but right now it doesn't look like it's getting too wet. So let me show you. And they just recently changed it. Now you have, instead of the T-Rex, you have the I-Rex, the Indominus Rex at the, bottom, the end of the ride. And then you come right down this hill. fact, when, they, when this ride debuted, Steven Spielberg rode this ride, but he did not want to go down that hill. So they stopped the ride at the very top and he got off the ride and then the ride continued on, on the opening ride of press day. <laughs> Jeff Goldblum also got out. He didn't want to go down the hill either. It says it's a 40 minute wait, but I also have my express pass. So let's see how long it really is. Holy cow. I just scanned my ticket. They have me walk here and this is the boarding. This is the wait, wait is maybe three minutes. Everybody else is like 40 minutes. Whoa. Oh my gosh, that was like the fastest wait ever. I'm literally walking right on back row, perfect spot. Dinosaurs. Dinosaur. Failures, guys, containment failures. Uh oh, the Dominus Rex paddock is open. Boat is on the way. Do not panic. You can see me. I need you to keep your hands inside the boat. He sprayed with water. The spitting dinosaur is sprayed with water.
Oh my gosh, I love that ride. I had to stop and buy some sunscreen because I realized I'm starting to get a little sunburn. So uh, if you maybe you just if you see any of that, that's just ignore that. I just have to put that on. Now I have to show you something that else is really cool down here. The Raptor Encounter. The Raptor Encounter is down here. It's that, this can be a very scary for children, but it is fun. You see the blue Raptor there, and you get a nice, sweet photo op. You notice even the even Blue's eyes. Whoa. Even Blue's eyes were closed and stuff. I don't know. That was it. Very, very, oh yeah, very, very. So we see that very cool. challenge that gentleman. So here's what I do. It's about 3:20. There's a four o'clock Waterworld stunt show, and I want to go to that. So I'm gonna go back up the escalator and go to the stunt show and show you some highlights of that. It's a must do when you come here. Well, that was easy. You just roll those escalators all the way back at the top. I'm gonna go uh, watch the Waterworld show because it's amazing. Because I have the express pass, I get preferred seating. The way that it works is at 3.45, 15 minutes before the show, they let the express pass go in first. Then after the express pass is in, then everybody else gets to go in. So she told me, she's like, you're gonna have time to go grab a little bowl to eat and you'll still be able to get in the show. So I'm, I'm gonna go get something to eat and then we're gonna go get the express pass and try to get a good seat. So I ran in, there's no line, I got a Poke Bowl and they have this little tuna Poke Bowl. I think you guys are really gonna like water bowls a lot. I haven't seen it in a long time, but I remember just loving it. It's a little spicy, but it's, it's delicious. I'm literally thinking about going back and getting the udon noodles later on. I don't know, we'll play it by ear. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. You never know. Let's not take it off the table though. Pokeball consumed, let's go do Waterworld. There it is, that's the express lane. Let's go right into the express lane and do this. Those are all the people that are kind of in front of me, not too many, and we'll just, they'll let us in first, then we'll get a good seat, then we'll uh, watch this amazing show. I love it, because they have like these little misters and the little shade nets. That's really nice. Waterworld was a movie that was released in 1995, so it's an older IP here at Universal Studios, but people still love this, this amazing stunt show. It was the most expensive movie ever made until Titanic came along and then beat that cost. It wasn't the most critically acclaimed movie and kind of a little bit of a box office bomb, but this stunt show. If you sit in a green seat, that means you could get wet. So I'm gonna do it, guys. I'm gonna sit in a green seat, like the last one, so it might get a little wet but it might be worth it. This is a huge, huge auditorium. It's a giant stunt show. All the seats down there. And this is where the, the performers will perform is right in front of us. We're waiting. I think this guy's like a little stunt performer. He came, he came walking out there. He's got a little bucket. Oh! Oh, dang! <laughs> I sat in the very last green row. I thought it'd be the safest. It made no difference. How's everybody doing tonight? Yeah. Troy, is dehydrated? Oh, thirsty? Oh, jeez. Tiger Woods. 
That would have gone a whole lot further too, but this kid distracted me. No, it's okay. <laughs> difficulty but still the show is amazing i love it oh my gosh that was amazing that was so much fun it's 4 30 and i'm thinking that there might be enough time for me to go do the tram tour again and this time i'm gonna sit on the left hand side because i have my uh, express pass i didn't use it this morning because the first thing i did and there was nobody there so i didn't use it so now i go there i'm gonna use my express pass so i can write it again i'm having the best day i'm gonna tell you what if you guys want to come down here i'm gonna tell you how to get the best tickets the best price on your tickets just go to the click the link down below for getaway today and uh, get your tickets for Universal Studios Hollywood and you'll get the best prices. If you're going to like Disney or having a vacation there, you want to tack on a day, just let them know you want to tack on a day here at Universal Studios. It is fun. I mean, I'm loving this. I'm really, I'm really enjoying my day. I hope you had some fun hanging out with me today. Uh, I got, we got more things to keep going, so let's just keep going. And, or if you want, you can call them at 1-855-GETAWAY and just tell them that Provost Parks Pass sent you because then you'll get the best prices. All right, let's go do the tram tour and see if we can sit on the uh, left-hand side. Because the last time we sat on the right side, we saw Jaws. I want to say the left-hand side is going to be closer for the War of the Worlds. That's what I'm looking for. I can do this over and over and over all day long. It's just fun. Oh, and there's our little express pass. Let's go do it. Something that's also I found very interesting. Uh, Universal Studios Hollywood representative was talking to me. They said that the locals usually come out to the park around 11. They don't know why that is. It's just that you've done all the crunch numbers. People have annual passes. They come here usually after 11. So if you come first thing in the morning, it's there's not a lot of people here the first thing in the morning. So just be aware. I mean, get here right as right as you can, because then you can go do all those cool things. I would get here as soon as you can. I would then hit the lower lot first and just go and uh, ride Jurassic and do all those cool things. Woo. The last tram departs at 5.15 and it's about a 15 minute wait. Well, that was pretty sweet. See that line? Like that, the, all the line there, it's not that long. But I'm gonna do like right to the front to get on the next tram. Express pass. Just walked on and got the left side. Let's look at War of the Worlds. One of my favorites, American Graffiti. I love it. And the Sting, I love it. Jaws, love it. Animal House, hilarious. The Jerk, amazing. I don't know Cold Miner's Daughter, and if you can believe it or not, I've never seen Scarface. Back to the Future, top five best movie of all time. There's City Hall for Back to the Future. This is important to notice. You see how the end of the street, you can see like a building? Well, they do that because when they're filming, they can't have normal streets just go all the way straight forever because it looks weird. So the streets always here in Hollywood Universe, yeah, uh, Universe Studios, the streets always have uh, something blocking the intersection so that the camera can't see what's beyond it. I just did uh, King Kong 
and the screen there is 40 feet high and it's 180 feet long. This is one of the largest screens in ever. Awesome. There's some actual on screen cars. Make sure we put his cars out here. Then we have some well Fifth's preserved car. restored vehicles from the Flintstones. And one of my personal favorites, the Ford Anglia from Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. That was the Weasley family's flying car. And then it's made with the Wapping Willow. Oh, oh my gosh. Just got squirted. This is the flood, and what's fun is to watch over there the windows over there towards the end. Look, they're gonna make it rain. The water goes down there is recycled, and you reuse it over and over. It goes right back at the pump, and they reuse it. Guys, this is very important to me. You see that fountain? Butch Cassidy and his Sundance Kid was filmed with that fountain. One of my favorite movies of all time. The very end of the movie. You notice the Coca-Cola is all shook up. I think it's such a cool set. And if you look right behind it, you can see the cabin from the great outdoors, the John Candy, Dan Aykroyd movie. You guys, here I am. I'm with Emily. She is the tram tour guide, the best I've ever had. Oh, She's made. Yeah. So if you guys come down here, make sure you ask for Emily. Ask for Emily. She's the best. Oh, thank you guys. My pleasure. Come and join us here at Universal Studios Hollywood. It'll be my pleasure to take you out on the back lot. Bye. Oh my gosh, guys. I am having the best time here at Universal Studios. In fact, this is what I'm going to do. I am now going to go turn my day ticket into an annual pass because I'm having so much fun. I gotta come back here and do some secrets revealed. There's a bunch of things here I've learned. Uh, the, the, pe the, the cast members and the people who work here, the employees, they've been so amazingly kind and awesome. And I need to do more videos here at Universal Studios. So I am going to go get uh, annual pass right now and let's just keep this party going. <gasps> also, down in the comments down below, put which attraction do you want the most to have secrets revealed? Of all the ones you've seen, the ones maybe I haven't even done, there's a couple I haven't even got a chance to go do. I will try to start doing some secrets revealed here at University of Hollywood, but I want to know what it is that you want to see. The reason I came here is because I did a live stream and I asked where I should be going and everybody said, go to University of Hollywood. So I came here. So you tell me which attraction here you want some secrets revealed. I'll do all the research, I'll do it, and we'll do some really cool attractions. So just let me know down in the comments down below. So I can read those comments. Do, 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 do. What's up, baby? Oh, man, you got all dressed up with the tie and everything. Look good right to. there. I, had I to. like it, man. Thank you so much. I got a question for you. Ooh, a question? Yeah, yeah. I wonder what he's going to ask. Okay, what? What do you like better, waffles or parfaits? Oh, man, that's the that's the question right yeah. there, man. Oh, man, waffles. Because you ever ask somebody, let's go get some parfaits? And like, no, I don't like no parfaits. Nobody doesn't like parfaits. I mean, you know what? But you know me, I love to stay up late, swapping the manly stories, and in the morning, I'm making the waffles. Yeah! Yeah, I love the waffles, man. I do. I gotta go to the waffle. Just edge out the parfait. Unless you put like a parfait on top of the waffle. That's pretty good right there. So. That'd be amazing. Oh my gosh, I got a chance to meet with Donkey. We gotta talk about parfaits and waffles. It was awesome. All right, I gotta go get my annual pass. I have to do this because this place is awesome. Here you go. You gotta upgrade to his silver annual pass for $64. How easy is that? Let's go do it. I'm doing it, guys. It's a commitment, but I want to do it. Oh my gosh. That took like, I don't know, maybe a minute. And I am now the newest annual passport holder here at Universal Studios Hollywood. What?
What? <laughs> that was so fast. I thought it would take like 20 minutes and do all that stuff. No, no, it's easy. So easy, painless, awesome. All right, I got time. Let's go down and do the mummy. Let's, let's wrap it up with the mummy. Did you hear what I just said? Let's wrap it up with the mummy. That was a pun, unintentional, but it was amazing. Let's end it here with the Revenge of the Mummy, guys. I love it. Before you go on the ride, you have to get your bags in a locker. The locker is free, and you walk in, you touch the screen, you put your little fingerprint, it opens up a locker, and you put it in, and that's it. You come back and do your fingerprint again and grab your locker. All right, guys, we are about to go do the mummy. Revenge of the Mummy, actually. It said it's a 30 minute wait, but I'm using Express Pass, and we are just walking right past everybody. Oh, okay, just, just walked in. That was, I don't know, three minutes. And the, the ride's right there in front of me, about ready to board. This is a really fun roller coaster. I'm not gonna film it, so I don't think I should anyways, but also, if you've never been on it, you want the surprise. There's surprises on this one. So you have to have that experience. I'll talk to you about it at the end of the ride, though. Oh, it's so good. Here's the thing about Universal Studios, is they have limited space for their attractions, so they have to really maximize what they can do in that, that area, and so they have to maximize every square inch and they do. It is awesome here with the mummy. They have to pull out every trick they can do to make that experience amazing, and it's awesome. It's awesome. I totally have enough time. If I wanted to, I can go to Transformers. It says it's only a 10 minute wait, and I haven't even used my Express Pass on it. So, I mean, but what I'm gonna do is says, I'm gonna go up the escalators, and I think I'm gonna go get those udon noodles. Or should I get that sandwich the, with the brie cheese? Oh, I don't know. Let's get a little food together, guys, and then we'll do a recap of the day. So I decided I got some nachos. I got a little bit of nachos action here. I thought I'm gonna recap my day. I've had a wonderful day here, like absolutely wonderful. And there's a lot of things I even have time to do. I didn't do like the Kung Fu Panda. I didn't do um, the Autobots, the Transformers. There's an animal show here. I have to do, do, do that. There's just, I mean, so much more. Plus there seems to be an amazing amount of food here at Universal Studios. So I need, this is where I need your guys' help. For those of you who are familiar with Universal Studios, Tell me what I should showcase and what should I show? Which food items should I be showing? Which uh, attractions do you want secrets revealed? You tell me the attraction, I will research it, and then come and do a whole video on those secrets revealed. Oh, one more thing. YouTube just gave us this brand new thing called Super Thank You on our channel. It's so cool. What it is, is you can hit, if you like this video, you can click that, and you do a donation to our channel to help us keep uh, supporting us. Then it will highlight your comment, we will get notified that you do that, and then we will respond to all of your comments that you've done those super thank yous to. It's just something, if you like to do that, you can. If you, this is something you find is valuable, and you're like, please do more of this, then we appreciate that so, so much. Here's my take. Universal Studios Orlando is amazing, and it's fun, and it's like a theme park. This one here in Universal Studios Hollywood, they make you feel like a movie star. You feel like you're part of the movies. Everything is based around movies. The whole thing is like a movie experience. That's different than every other theme park I've been to. You feel like you're in the movies. Like the whole time I'm walking around, I'm like maybe I'll get noticed. Maybe you're gonna be in a movie. You know, those fun things are going through your mind because you're here at Universal Studios Hollywood. I am completely blown away by how much fun I've had here. Really, really enjoy it. I gotta say one more thing about Universal Studios Hollywood. So it's in LA County, and when the world was going through all those problems, LA County was one of the most restricted. It was crazy, and they had they had all kinds of restrictions. It was it was closed down, then they finally let them open up, but they had to have like vaccine tests and they had to have masks. That's all gone. Anybody can come here to Universal Studios and enjoy the day. I mean, anybody can, and it's, I'm having a great time. I'm having a great time. If you have it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell notification, because we have a whole bunch of new videos. Our next video will be back, back down at Disney, and I'm gonna see how many different Disney characters I can meet in one day. I'm just, that's all I'm gonna try to do is get all the different Disney characters because they're all out and about now. So make sure you have that notification bell so when that video comes out, you can see how many characters you have. And then put down in the comments down below what secrets you build you want here at Universal Studios, and I'll come back. I'm coming back. Got my annual pass, baby. Let's do this. You guys, I got sucked back in. I've got to get this for Miles. Is that the cutest little Luigi you've ever seen in your life? There's a larger one. I think this is the perfect one. I, I'm going to get it. Miles just, he needs it. He needs it. I got it for him. It's right there in the bag. It's funny because I asked the guy, I was like, I'm like, what do you sell more of, Luigi or Mario? He's like, you already know the answer to that. I'm like, I do? He's like, yes, you do. I'm like, Mario? I was like, yeah, obviously. I was like, ah! <laughs> thought it might be Luigi, but Mario. Everybody loves Mario. Oh, well, that is the day, guys. This is the Universal Studios Hollywood sign. It's been amazing. If I haven't already told you, let me just quickly tell you how amazing you are and how special you are. You are awesome. You are amazing. And I know that sometimes it gets hard out there. The world is a good place. The world's a good place. And the reason it's good is because of you. And I'm talking to you. All right. That's the end of this one. You have a fantastic night. Thank you for watching this. I'll see you in a couple of, a couple of days with all the characters at Disney. Bye.